we are about to embark on a journey that has been on our bucket list for years. For the next five days, we are gonna be sailing through the San Blas Islands from Panama to Colombia. Even though Panama and Colombia share a border, it's nearly impossible to cross by land. That's because it's separated by a dense, dangerous jungle known as the Darien Gap. So the only way to cross between the two countries is by air. But we decided to do the fun and adventurous way and travel by boat. We're traveling again. <laughs> so excited! We are so excited to be finally internationally traveling again. We've been home in Canada for the last six months, but we're finally away and we are on our way to Colombia. So our original plan is to be in Colombia, but we took a quick detour through Panama. <laughs> Even before we traveled to Ecuador or any of the other countries, yeah. we have wanted to do this very specific trip and so we are so excited so that it's happening. So obviously we are on a sailboat <laughs> and so for the next five days we are going to be sailing through the San Blas Islands, which is on on the north coast of Panama and we're going to be sailing through those islands for the next two days and then for two and a half days we're going to be sailing through open ocean to get to Cartagena so we are so excited yeah <laughs> but before we show you anything about boat life and this boat we need to rewind to where we were this morning good morning, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's five in the morning we're here in Panama City we flew from Vancouver to Panama City two days ago and we've been spending the last 30 hours just enjoying the city. It's such a cool city. We definitely want to come back here and spend more time. But this has probably been our record for like the shortest amount of time yeah. ever in a country. So. Yeah, <laughs> but we're on to our next adventure and we got to take a shuttle to El Porvenir where our boat will leave from. So we're hopefully going to catch a few hours of sleep in that shuttle. <laughs> Be safe and sorry. How's it feel, Eric? This is cool. This is awesome. This First is so impression? Cool. First impression, I want to live on a sailboat for the next five days. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Wow. So we got our little orientation, we got settled in our room, met the people that are going to be on our boat with us, and now we're ready to give you a little room tour. So this is our room. Oh, and we went for a swim because it is so hot in this boat already. Here you go. So spacious. We have three beds. We have another person that's gonna be staying in this bed. Eric and I decided we're gonna try to sleep on the top bunk together. I think it'll go great. We have a lovely fan, because it's so hot in here. And then all of our big bags went underneath, so the majority of our luggage is underneath here. Then we have kind of some counter space, some random little nooks to keep things in. Oh, this one's kind of broken. <laughs> you know? And uh, that's the whole room. Oh, and here's the bathroom as well. So we have our toilet. Yeah. Do you I don't know how actually. To use it? I don't actually know anything. Eric okay. got the orientation. Let's switch. Let's trade. This is the most complicated part about this. <laughs> this toilet is a pump toilet, and uh, I've never used this before, but I was shown a little bit how to do it. Basically, you have to pump this out. Do your business. <laughs> and then you turn this on, and then you pump it again fill it up with water and then you pump it more. You pump it like 15 to 20 times because it goes like up and down. Okay. And so if you don't flush it enough, it's gonna come all right back into the toilet. Gross. Which isn't that cool. Leave uh, it for the next person. <laughs> Leave it for the next person. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, you're just your average small bathroom. Yeah, with, awesome. Uh, and then we have a couple other rooms. These ones are, are double beds, but no other bunk. Same over here, another bathroom and then another three person room. And then we'll show you the Rest upstairs the later.
We have just been having the best afternoon. We had the most unreal lunch of lobster and we sailed for a little bit and ended up snorkeling. Yeah. We're just having the greatest time getting to know our crew. And now we ended up at this secluded island where we're gonna be spending the night. And it's just, right. it's so beautiful. It's been so amazing, but we have the opportunity now uh, to show you around the boat because <laughs> all of the rest of the crew have gone to an island here. So let's show you the boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so starting with the top deck, we have a nice little lounge area here at the front. They set up this nice little shade tarp thing when the sail is down. It's really nice and we've been sailing along to just enjoy the view. Then we have all of the holes into the rooms. Each of these <laughs> goes down into one of the rooms, which is going to be nice for some airflow tonight. Which one's ours? This one right here. <laughs> Should I jump in? You can if you want. No. <laughs> Probably won't make it back out. And then we just have the top deck where we can just lounge up here. Sails. We're really hoping that the weather is gonna be nice enough that we can only use the sails and not use the motor, but we'll see, uh, fingers crossed there's enough wind. And yeah, then we just have a whole walkway with all the laundry. It's pretty much all there is up here. It's just a bunch of sails and ropes and places to lounge. But it's really nice because we can just kind of like jump into the water kind of oh, wherever. It's so nice. <laughs> It's Amazing. sick. And then because we are coming up on sunset, we have all the stuff covered up here because when you're sitting down here, it gets really hot. But I think if we come down here, it'll make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Free for all bananas, beer cooler. Yep. And then this is like our common area. This is like where we eat and hang out throughout the day. And we somehow fit 14 people eating in here. Well, these tables flip out. <laughs> so that's really nice. And then we can have our crew. <laughs> the Capitan. Hello, Woo! Humberto and Jeff Carmena. They have been so amazing already. This is only the first day, so we are only just getting a glimpse of what they're capable of, but it has been so amazing so far. The Amande one, fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> and then there's two different rooms on either side here. These are two private rooms with private ensuite bathrooms. Oh, and I forgot to, this is Oh this yeah, is key Onyx. member. This is Onyx. He's the security. He's the security. Hey buddy. And this is the whole kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> and they're preparing what will surely be a delicious dinner for us. <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of just taking the opportunity tonight to adjust to boat life, get to know our crew and all of our new friends. So we're gonna be going to the island right now. We're gonna go and play some volleyball, eat some delicious dinner, and then watch the sunset. And we'll show you much more of what That's sailing right. is like tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Today is our first full day on the boat and we are so excited because we're already moving and it's really, uh, really fun. It's kind of cool. We're just motoring around. I don't think there's a lot of wind so we, uh, we don't really have any sails up but luckily the boat has a motor so we can actually get uh, to where we need to go. doing sir <laughs> great it's the life here so happy feeling relaxed i'm feeling so relaxed <laughs> laying on a boat in the sun nice where could i ask for and the day's <laughs> only just begun we I have know. a lot of stuff going on today i know i'm excited <laughs> We have arrived at the island. It is so beautiful. We're gonna be spending the day here. I'm so excited, but it's so hot. So first things first, gotta jump in. Let's see it, Eric. You ready? I'm ready. Woo! How'd it feel? Good, I almost lost my shorts though. <laughs> Glad I didn't catch that on video. It's so like salty, I can just flow. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right. So 
much of salt water in the middle. I know. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this trip has already been such a dream come true. It has been so beautiful. These islands are amazing. This boat is amazing. Our whole group is so fun. And it's just been just an unbelievable experience already. So if you're wondering how you can book the same trip, we booked it through a company called Blue Sailing. It's super easy to book with them. They have a whole online site with all the different boats going on different dates. So you can pick which one you like the best and then you can book with them. They're super great. They're super communicative about all the things we need to bring with us and a lot of information for our orientation. And we booked with the boat called Amande One, which has been so beautiful. This boat is awesome. The crew is so wonderful. We've had unreal food every day it is so great so from our personal experience you should definitely book with them because i think it's the best boat <laughs> the under. <laughs> we could have chosen to take the boat to the island but instead we're just gonna swim because it's so nice. And because we took too long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone ditched us. Are you regretting swimming Sarah? No not at all. It's so nice. <laughs> I love it. But it's further than it looked. <laughs> <laughs> it's all high over there. <laughs> we're doing it. It's so turquoise. I can't get over the water. Oh, I know. It's amazing. Oh, it's incredible. Increíble. Increíble. Look at this right here. Look at the starfish. Whoa. That's incredible. It's so big. Look at this <laughs> nice white sand. This is so nice. I hate my life. Yeah, it's garbage. This is the best day ever. <laughs> This island is incredibly beautiful. <laughs> we're basically just walking around the whole thing. It's taking about like 10 minutes, but it's really cool because we're just walking with some of the people we're uh, on the boat with. And it's really nice because everyone on the crew is very fun, uh, generally around our age, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I think everyone's just like kind of geared for adventure. So it's just been a really fun group to be on this boat with. And I think that has made the trip uh, extra fun <laughs> so far. That's so cool. I love that. So we just realized that we haven't actually told you anything about the Sandblast Islands, which are the chain of islands that we're sailing through pretty much this entire trip. So the Sandblast Islands are a series of 365 or more islands. So you could basically sail every single day to each different island and it would take you an entire year, which is pretty cool. The islands are owned by the Guna people, which are an indigenous group who were in Panama before anyone else. And basically they own the, all the land of the islands and maybe even some parts of the mainland of Panama. And they are independent of Panama, which is very interesting. And so there's all these different communities on these islands. This island that we're on right now has about 20 people maybe. Uh, but it's very interesting because there's a, whole, there's a population of over 50,000 throughout Panama. And apparently it's growing, which is very cool. I think one of the coolest things about sailing through the San Blas Islands is getting to experience the Kuna people and just that they live traditionally on the islands. They're often selling different crafts or they'll sell you beers on the beach, so it's a good idea just to bring a little bit of change to support them in that. neither Eric or I have been feeling very seasick on this trip which is great but it's still so nice to get off of the boat every so often and go on some actual land you know equalize your body a bit so we're taking full advantage of that especially because that will not be the case for the second half of this trip so we'll show you that in the next video time for some fresh coconut Martin from the boat got us some coconut so uh, I don't think I've had a coconut since like Ecuador <laughs> And? It's okay. It kind of oddly tastes like carbonated. 
It's carbonated? It tastes like it. Oh. It tastes, it tastes pretty good. I would, I mean, it's not super flavorful. It is just a coconut, but, but it is know, fresh. It's probably, probably hydrating. Probably. Okay, Sarah, let's see the shower. <laughs> First, <laughs> you gotta get all wet in the water. Then you gotta do a little fresh water. Use a shampoo bar. Shampoo bar, best thing ever invented in the world. Soap it up. Oh, feels so nice. Gotta get it all clean. <laughs> nice little brush. Hair gets so knotted in the salt water. Yeah. It feels amazing. Ah! Oh! 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 Ouch! Oh! Oh! I was holding like, doing okay. <laughs> no, I was so like, and the rope was like between your legs. Yeah, and then the boat like... moved on top of your head. It was like all of it. I was could not feel it when I was coming up the boat. That was so like... funny. <laughs> it was just like you just disappeared from behind. It's okay. Awesome. But at least I'm glad you filmed it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next, because we are trying to conserve fresh water, got to rinse off in the water. Did that look cool? That looks so cool. <laughs> Lastly. Rinse all the salt water off. Maybe this is a complicated shower. It's a lot of steps. Nice. Nice. All clean. And just like that, sunset time. Oh. Sunset time. <laughs> it's so nice. This is beautiful. Wow. This is great. It's so beautiful. This day passed way too fast. I know. I can't believe it's already Flies by. sunset time. Yeah. I think one of the best parts about this sailing trip so far is that we've just had so much free time. I feel like with other, you know, cruises or other things, like you, you often are have maybe some itinerary that you're doing and you're always kind of going one thing to the next, but we've really felt like we've been able to like just relax on this trip. We just have so much time to just laze around and hang out in the sun and go swimming and explore the island, walk around the island. I just think that's just such a cool, almost unique experience as well, just to have so much free time and downtime and no service and, you know, it's just really, really nice. <laughs> Well, after a delicious dinner, yet again. Oh, the food on this <laughs> boat is so good. We're on our way to a bonfire on the island, so we will catch you in the morning. morning <laughs> we've already been sailing for about 45 minutes to an hour and we made it to our last island of the trip yeah it's nice really secluded little yeah. island so we're gonna be doing some swimming and just enjoying it for the day because at five o'clock today we hit the open ocean so this yeah. is the last island we're gonna totally. or last land we're gonna yeah. be on for a while yeah. it uh it rained and got quite windy last night made it for a very beautiful morning but it's starting to get really choppy and so i'm <laughs> kind of nervous about the next part of the journey yeah. which is basically yeah just 30 hours of we haven't been feeling seasick so yeah. far but i feel like <laughs> it might not continue that yeah, way so stay see. tuned for that yeah that's right uh again we had such a great time with blue sailing and we're already still having a great time with them and with the amande one and so yeah i hope this video gave you some inspiration to maybe do this journey yourself because yeah. it's already been amazing it's incredible yeah. it's a must do experience right. for sure uh but yeah stay tuned for the next one and we'll see you there